Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, May 15th, 2014. Okay, on the news fronts yesterday, I think I saw some stuff on TV about uh, producer pricing. It came in uh, higher than expected. Uh, they are expecting a 0.2% increase, and actually it was a 0.6% increase, which is even out of the range. So that was a bit of a surprise, I think, to the market, but I don't know if that's the reason why the market reacted the way that it did yesterday or not. But the previous day there was a new high in the Dow and the S&P, I believe, and then followed by a pullback which triggered a lot of trades for us yesterday so I thought you'd be uh, you know, be looking at that in a minute consumer price index this morning at 8.30 is along with jobless claims and the Empire State Manufacturing Survey and then at 9.50 or 9 o'clock uh, Treasury Capital and then Industrial Production Philly Fed Survey and Housing Market Index and then Auntie Yellen speaks at 6 10 p.m. I don't think uh, they're pretty much credit into what she's saying lately only because it just seems like as though she's saying what people want her to say if they don't like what she says then she goes and corrects it and that's pretty much what's happening to practically everybody these days. If somebody doesn't like what you're saying, then you have to retract it or apologize or do something. So I'm glad everybody that listens to my videos like what I say. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's sort of a wacko remark, isn't it? Uh, let's take a look at Asia. We had a mixed over in Asia. Pretty solid mix, too. Uh, with everything up um, almost over a half a percent across the board or more. And in Europe, we are bearish across the board. All right, in the U.S. futures, uh, pretty much flat. I would call this flat. Uh, and gold pulled back a couple bucks overnight, and oil pulled back about 40 about 50 cents overnight and you can see here that my accounts look a lot different than they did yesterday they are full I will not be trading today it's a possible way to get out of something <laughs> um, I did exit root the um, uh, what did I have I had a bull put on it and I switched it over to a bear call so looking at the delta column apple we're looking for a move up everything else is negative delta until we get down to cvx which we're looking for a move up and igor a move up and of course tlt a move up which is really a move down for the market so we're pretty much majority negative delta right now in the market just making sure that we are matching across the board here okay all right so uh, that's about the max amount of trades that I want to have open um, after I got done trading yesterday I took a look at this and I went wow that's a lot <laughs> um, I'm not used to managing that many positions so we'll see how things work out. But overall, you know, we're not, uh, we're a total of uh, minus 28 delta. And we're 66, collecting $66 a day or more, depending on where things move. The $66 uh, dollar theta here is only, only if prices remain the same. And we know that that's probably not going to happen. So there will be a movement and we are hoping generally overall down. Okay, uh, let's run through the A plus list. I'm gonna start out with Apple. 
throw up the analyze tab here and do a risk profile. Let's just get rid of this. All right. Here's what we're looking like on Apple. This was a 50 delta trade. I'll take a look at the chart. Let's go back here and then take a look at the chart. Come on. Get myself in sync here. All right. Um, we got actually been in this for a while. We got in on this day. We're in an uptrend and then she just ran sideways. So this morning we're looking at, well, we're still above our short. So hopefully we get a little bit of movement up today and then this will be one that yeah, you just take profits on this baby. If the market's going down, um, then we might want to just grab those profits and get out of this thing. Okay, Amazon not doing as well. We got in this one. They uh, were all about in the 3.30 time frame yesterday. So we got into this one. Um yesterday and this was our strike here at 295 I believe and we're hoping for a little bit to move more movement down today on that remember we're playing momentum and to get that 50 delta I probably ended up trading right here somewhere around here on this candle uh, in order to get my 50 delta so we're We'll be keeping an eye on that one. Boeing, we have nothing going on in Boeing. And we have a target set down here for a 20 delta trade. Uh, Baidu, nothing going there. We were in this um, iron condor here. It would have been an excellent trade. We did not get in on a 50 delta yesterday because just was not enough movement. So we took a pass on that. So I'm going to erase everything here. And I'm going to be looking for another 20 delta trade. Just because, you know, there's so much price consolidation going on here. And uh, MACD, there's not much momentum either way. So we'd be looking for a 20 delta trade down here. And we'll color that. Yeller. Yellow because we're chicken. And we want the comfort of something a little bit further out of the money. Celgene uh, didn't do anything on it yesterday. We still we have a hook down on the stochastic, but we're waiting for the MACD. So the um, this is still valid for a 20 delta. So we're just going to wait to see what happens with that. For today, Chipotle, we're in Chipotle. You can see that we're uh, price is right at our break even, a little bit below the short. Again, the same story here, 3:30. Oh no, wait, this was the day before actually. Sorry about that. And we sweated out a little bit yesterday, but it looks like as though there might be some downward momentum on this. So I'll wait a little while on that. And we didn't get any sort of indication here that we should be getting out. Costco um, had only, I spread these across two accounts and only one um, got filled. The other one did not. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why it wouldn't have, but because we were pretty steady here and I was looking at midpoint but it, there's probably not a lot of oh I didn't mark this one hang on never mind I did mark it it's just the way up here <laughs> so uh, I think the reason why it didn't get filled probably is there's not a lot of uh, volume at this particular uh, open interest. Yeah, it's not real. It's not packed real heavy here. It's only a couple hundred. I don't know exactly what the volume was yesterday, but I guess I could see why 
is a little bit difficult to fill that, which is why we like to stay with the stuff that's really liquid. But on a 20 delta trade, um, you can go with less liquidity because you can be a little bit more patient because you have this nice cushion here. Alrighty. CVX. Let's see here. Get rid of that. Here we are in a 20 delta trade. Uh, let's see here. We had a move down overnight, but it's not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about that one right now. We're up 60 bucks on that. Let's take a look at the Dow from a chart perspective. And this is a new high here, at least on DIA. And it looks like the ZO. Let's just move this over here. This is just a spot thing. Like I've mentioned before, I'm not really interested in doing anything with the IA as far as trading is concerned. And it looks like as all we're going to stay a little bit depressed here. We're open at the low here, no gap up or anything at this time. Igor, um, we did a 50 delta trade on it, and it moved against us. But I think we're still, yeah, we're still a little bit ahead here. Any indication? Well, we might open up possibly above. We can look at the bid ask on the price here. Whoa, that's a big wide bid ask. But I would say we're at like 99 something. If I was to guess, if you're looking for the midpoint in there. So that's not very good news because our short is at 104. We'll see how that one works out. Not in any sort of panic mode at this time. FedEx, we are not in it. We have a target set down here, waiting to get to it. F5 Networks, I hope I'm not going too fast. We are right at our break even on F5. We got in on this one yesterday. And it looks like as though after hours we're a little bit freaky looking up here. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Gold. We have a covered call. It's looking at possibly doing something uh, way up here. If it ever gets up here, and it may not before Friday. So I'm going to be looking at a June expiration. So I'll be looking at that today. Google. Uh, we are just about at our short strike here and we're hoping for a little bit more movement down on that. This one we entered yesterday as well around the 330 mark here. So we're working, looking for that one to give us a little bit more downward movement. LinkedIn, we are back at the trough on LinkedIn. We've been in for a couple of days. Um, this will be the third day on it, and we're at about 40% max profit on that. Okay, 3M. Uh, we have a target set down here. We may be coming down to it in the next day or two. If I wanted to trade this on Friday, I don't know. You know, I don't like holding over the weekend, except for the 20 deltas. I can hold those over the weekend, but, but definitely not 50s. Uh, but this is a really nice, strong move, so I'm hoping that um, it doesn't give me a hook <laughs> on Friday. NDX, we are in NDX here with a 20 delta trade. And we're uh, max 440, and that's max uh, profit, and max loss is 1600. So that's a little bit better than a 5 to 1 if. Uh, 
my brain is working properly today, so we'll be keeping an eye on it. Entered that one yesterday as well. Netflix. Still acting weird here. We have two reds, two days of red on the stochastic and no confirmation on the MACD. So we're still waiting for it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to trade today, but for you, I'll put this down as a setup. Still might add Netflix, though. I mean, if it makes a move down, I don't think it's going to. Because if the market pulled back yesterday and Netflix was still moving up, it's probably not going to come across. Which makes it uh, slightly risky. Uh, Priceline. Yes, what's going on with Priceline? Took a pass on this one yesterday. I guess when I got down to that part of the alphabet, <laughs> I was uh, all burned out for trades. So I hope you folks got in on this yesterday because this looks like a good one. And actually it's an alertable. Yeah, this is alertable. So you want to set your alert below the low from the previous day. So I'll throw an alert in here. I may still get into it, who knows. There you go. Okay. Russell, we're in in the rut. We flipped ourselves around yesterday on this. Um, I had a 20 delta here, whereas I didn't uh, put mine in. I didn't draw it in here. Hang on. There you go. We got uh, activity in the background here. Uh, here's our line. This is a June 2 expiration. So I just thought that I would, uh, I'm probably going to get out of this early, but if it keeps moving down, I'll just hang on to it and then we'll accumulate more as appropriate. SPX, nothing going there. Um, we're in an uptrend, so I was looking for a move down here to do a 20 delta. TLT. These should be 20 delta also. Hang on. Okay, so on this one, um, we did have our indication here. We had a hook down here in a stochastic, but no confirmation on the MACD. And yesterday we got our confirmation, or the day before we got our confirmation. And so we jumped in. Okay, so now we're heavy into TLT and then Tesla. Nothing going. Waiting for Tesla to do its hook back down. Don't know if it's going to or not. UNP. I sold my short or bought my short back. I had this alert go off. I had an alert on here yesterday, a bail alert, and it went off, and I took a look at it. And the short was, uh, the, I actually, I think I sold it, or bought it back for two cents. So I didn't have to worry about it. And then last but not least is Visa. Uh, we did get an actual, um, we did get a hook down yesterday. I did not get a chance to come and take a look at this. So this is looking pretty good. It would have looked good yesterday for a uh, trade. Um, so that is about it. Lots of open positions. It's pretty crazy out there. Um, we're looking for overall pretty much another move down today to get these negative deltas to start accumulating some money. And on the Russell, you know, we're way out there, but we're still up 130 bucks on it. So I might, and that's on both sides. There's also one down here. So, um, could be fun today if we get another little pullback. Let's see if the futures have changed at all. Uh, 
network connected. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so we're still look uh, pretty flat for the open NASDAQ. Yeah, looks like the NASDAQ may move up a little bit, which would probably be good for our Apple trade. That's probably what's pulling it up right now. Let's take a look at an Apple chart right quick. Let's see if we had some trades on Apple or anything that might pull it up. No, it's still looking pretty much the same as it did when we looked at it before. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.